Hi there, how we doing today? Hope you guys are making it a great day. My name is Jennifer Moffitt. I am a certified health coach through Dr. Sears Wellness Institute. And I fell in love with taking care of myself just a few years ago. And I wanted to come to you today from a shade in my yard and share my skin cancer story with you. I had moved to Charleston, South Carolina when I was um, really in the beginning of my newspaper career, the start of my newspaper career. And I, um, of course, love the sun. Grew up going to tanning beds, grew up in the sun, wore sunscreen, but I wasn't familiar and I didn't educate myself on the type of sunscreen I should be using. And used to spend a lot of time in tanning beds as well. So, and I did get burnt, and I, I do have a, a touch of Scottish in me, so obviously um, we have to be careful. One out of three Caucasians in South Carolina get uh, melanoma, skin cancer. Well, I was there in South Carolina, and I started uh, seeing a dermatologist. Thought that was the best thing to do. And this was um, 13 years ago. So, I went in and didn't realize, just thought they'd be checking out some moles and stuff like that. And they immediately found uh, melanoma on my back. Didn't even know it was there. So, I'm excited to be um, a survivor of skin cancer and I, I really try to take care of my skin to the best of my ability. I had already quit smoking at that point. So, um, felt good. I had also um, thereafter stopped drinking sodas and just started eating um, real food or try to and of course would wear sunscreen like every day all day even in the winter uh, because I remember asking my dermatologist now what do I do now when I go to the beach and he said you're not going to go to the beach, and if you do go to the beach, you're going to have a turtleneck, and you're going to be under an umbrella. And I thought, whoa, whoa. I was like, that's a that's pretty dramatic. So that was hard. Um, you know, I loved being in the sun. Um, I wasn't a, a real tan person by no means, but I did get a little gloss, a little pretty brown gloss on me. And so I was like, gosh, that's a bummer. So, of course, I bought an umbrella. And when I started my health journey of whole food nutrition four years ago, I started really reading more about cleaner products to use on the market. So I'm holding my uh, favorite sunscreen that I use. Everybody has their own choice, okay? I'm not trying to convince you to use this. I'm just telling you what I like to use. This has been approved um, by the Environmental Working Group, EWG.org is a great site to check out if you are interested in learning about cleaner products in on your for your skin, um, obviously for your home, you know, everything uh, is there. And I think one of, of my friends down in Charleston may have told me about EWG. So this is um, a zinc oxide. Uh, sunscreen so it's the active ingredient is zinc oxide always read your ingredients and educate yourself even if you don't know the spelling it's okay just google it and then you can learn more about it so we like to use this in our household I pride myself in also wearing um, I wear a foundation with sunscreen as well um, it's called Juice Beauty Foundation that I get, I think, from Ulta. But anyway, um, you know, do what's best for you. I have a lot of friends out there that wear a beauty counter and also, you know, share essential oils. Definitely stay close to those people. They know what they're talking about. They get free education. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'm forever grateful to my dermatologist and everybody around me that supported me through that time uh, it was a lot scarier I mean looking back on it I'm like wow I had no idea what I was going through but now I'm a lot happier I just turned 42 and I don't feel 
Um, like I need certain types of skincare regimens that some people follow because I really stay out of the sun. So maybe carry an umbrella with you in your trunk, carry your sunscreen, even put it on under the foundation and use a foundation with an SPF. Check it out, folks. Make sure you verify it's good for you and there's not toxic chemicals or ingredients in that product you're putting on your skin. So I hope this was helpful. Please share this with someone you love. And remember, click subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.